Business Enterprise News Headlines. I am Angela Apa. The Bank of Industry has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Export Input Bank of China for a $500 million facility to start a modular refinery. This was revealed by the Bank of Industry this weekend, where it noted that the refinery is a part of Nigeria's effort to stop the importation of petroleum products. According to the bank, the move would curb illegal bunkering in the Niger Delta and ultimately grow the economy. The Bank of Industry added that 10 modular refineries were at an advanced level of development in the Niger Delta. The Federal Inland Revenue Service has expressed its commitment to increase government revenue through taxation by 20% before the end of the 2018 financial period. As part of effort to achieve this target, the FIRS said it has started introducing some initiatives, according to a communique issued after a recent meeting of the Joint Tax Board. The FIRS also instructed state tax revenue authorities to explore all non-personal income tax sources in bringing about an improvement in the non-PIT to internationally generated revenue. However, the executive chairman, FIRS Tunde Fowler, said the tax administrators had a strong sense of responsibility to the nation. And in Africa, South Africa Finance Minister Nene has confirmed there's a significant downside risk to revenue collection due to recession and problems in tax collection by the revenue service. The minister said there is an additional downside risk to the tax revenue projected at the beginning of the year because of the contraction in the economy in the first six months of the year. He, however, added that fixing the country's economy to ensure that it grows faster and in more sustainable manner is therefore critical. Still on the African continent, Egypt Prime Minister Mustafa Madboli has confirmed the country's foreign debt rose to $92.64 billion at the close of the financial year in June, up from $88.2 billion at the end of March. According to him, the debt made up 37.2% of the country's cross domestic product at the end of the 2017 to 2018 fiscal year. However, the country's foreign reserves stood at $44.2 billion at the end of June and climbed to $44.4 billion by the end of August. And on the foreign scene, China's threat surplus with the United States widened to a record of $31.05 billion in August from $28.09 billion recorded in July 2018. According to the Chinese custom data, this surpassed the previous record set in June this year, even as the country's export growth slowed slightly. China's import from the United States grew only 2.7% in August a slowdown from 11.1% in July. Meanwhile, the United States President Donald Trump last Friday warned that he was ready to slap tariffs on nearly all Chinese imports to the United States. Moving down to sport. World Cup winner Alphonse Arreola is in talks to extend his stay at Paris Saint-Germain after entering the final season of his contract. Speculation has surrounded the France goalkeeper's future since veteran Gianluigi Buffon arrived as a potential rival in July. Roma reportedly considered making him Palizzo's successor, while Chelsea's goalkeeper, coach Christophe, claimed his compatriot was keen on replacing Cartillus at Stamford Bridge. And that's it on Enterprise News Headlines for today. For more news, updates, special reports and our shows, you can visit our website www.enterprisetv.tv. Our social media platform are always there for your own information in the world of business. I am Angela Ackman. Many thanks for watching.